districts with district one there being in new york that's a picture of the diversity uh crew on the appellate court the appellate courts but there's more than just five there's a bunch of, of other justices it's just those are the sister justices on the appellate court and then there's the supreme court but there are two sisters on the oh, sorry there's the appeals court of new york which is like the supreme court for the u.s and though there's two sisters on that wow like just think about that man like but yeah this is this is district this is the the appellate court district one which is what they would be appealing to if we're going by what these two professors said one at upenn and one at georgetown if we go on by what these two professors said, I mean, and they put their careers on the line to say this. This is sitting, they put everything on the line because this has to get out. This has to get out. I think sometimes people feel like, yo, you got, you're, it erodes the system. If you let all these underqualified son people become judges, you're going to ruin the judicial system. So I think sometimes people just throw caution to the wind. But all of these sisters probably scored in the lower half of their class. All of them. Because both of them said, no, they don't have any black students that score in the top quarter of the class. And, and very few that score in the top half. So that means of 100 kids, you never get a, a black kid in the top 25. You, you rarely get a black kid, I mean, rarely in the top 50. All of them, usually all of them are congregated in the lower 50, 50%, low, lower half of the class. Yet, you see this, and we're not supposed to be like, well, maybe all of these women scored in the lower half of their class that's a that's that's a fair assumption press one is that a fair assumption it's crazy because um if she said well you know i hate to say this but my white students are at the at the bottom of the class nobody would blink an eye bro nobody would give a fuck Nobody. Nobody. Yeah, it, looks like, bodies, bro. it looks like there's 20 uh appellate uh appellate division justices and then a, a head justice. So out of 20, five of them are sons. That's still a lot. Yes, it is. Son sisters, right? Five of them are son sisters. Yes. That's so that's that means six percent of the population is making up twenty five percent of your no twenty out of twenty making up yeah twenty five percent of your judges in the New York appellate six percent of the population who scores who never scores in the top half of their class in law school is making up twenty five percent of your, your judges. That's almost impossible, man. Without the aid of, you know, diversity hires and quotas and shit like that. Almost. Yeah, it's, it is. It is impossible. It's, it's impossible without that. And then these people are these these these. This guy gets this guy gets suspended. He didn't say a word. The schools yeah, are he got, he got the bat man. and affirmative action investigates saying batson has been removed from any involvement he has in the course he was discussing with sellers the university also says it's taking significant steps to ensure that all students in this class are fairly graded without the input of either professors well, now they're trying to act like the the judge the, 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 by saying that that means that they're not Grade they they're giving the black students bad grades because of uh, out of racism, so they flipped it completely from being an issue of where the black kids aren't scoring well on the t on, um in the class to well we're firing you because we think you're 
giving them low scores just because you hate black people. And now the black kids get to say, well, yeah, yeah, that's why I scored low, because, yeah, the teacher gave me a low score. It was crazy. <laughs> nah, we – come on now. Everybody knows, like, they're they're doing everything imaginable, you know, within reason of, like, academic integrity to push these sons through. Within reason? I'd say beyond reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A bit over the line of reason there. It's a bit fuzzy, but like the like extra time on your tests, retests, like all this fuck shit. All this shit. We have two the- sons on the Supreme Court, man. Twenty percent of the Supreme Court, twenty plus percent of the Supreme Court are sons. Bro, well, this- Clarence, Clarence Thomas belongs there, though. Well, well, hold on. What I'm saying is still not 10%, 20% of the Supreme Court of Sons. Yeah. And and then see, that's what conservatives don't understand. It's like the whole like uh, diversity thing only works in favor of black people or like other minorities where you can go, oh, no, we can be overrepresented because we're not white. So it's OK. It's justified. Yep. Yeah, I agree about Clarence Thomas, though. I, I, I've read about him. Um, like, uh, I saw a documentary about him, too. Um, and I seen an interview about with him with um, somebody talk, when he's talking about he is a fucking, he's a rare son, bitch. <laughs> yeah, his, his, his acumen and his, his um, work ethic. <laughs> Yo, he different, man. I would give him that, man but of either professors. The dean called the conversation reprehensible and abhorrent, adding that the termination and investigation is by no means the end of our work to address the many structural issues of racism reflected in this painful incident, and that there's a need for more comprehensive anti-bias training. I was shocked, but not surprised. You would hope that we we are farther along. Professor Anthony Cook also teaches at Georgetown Law. He says he thinks the school's reaction was appropriate, but says further action is needed. We're moving on now to try to see if we can figure out what's systemic and structural changes. So now when he says systemic, now he wants more shit that will help the black kids get better grades. And have even more black kids scoring at the bottom of their class that will be the inevitable result of it and more shit that will help those kids once they graduate get job place get placed you know what i'm saying it's like and, a, um, a positive yeah. reinforcement fucking affirmative action loop basically yeah because he wants he's talking about systematic and structural so basically he's saying yo this is the, the, the this 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 bias towards us is woven into the system, and the only way to fix that is by weaving some anti-bias stuff into the system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna flip this. This was a this was a win for sons because 100%. now we get we get more free shit. Might be made to prevent this kind of thing. Sellers apologized for what she called her hurtful remarks, but acknowledged irreparable harm she's done to students she's supposed to help excel. When it comes to vulnerable populations, they're in positions of uh, of being subject to the powers that be in ways that are can be quite harmful emotionally, psychologically, and economically. It has far-reaching consequences. Uh, ABC News did reach out to Bats and we did not hear back. Now, Georgetown University, uh, the law school, boasts on its diversity website that with 27 full-time faculty of color, that students will never be alone. But you have to dig to find... 27, when they say of color, you know they're talking about Iranians, fucking Lebanese people, um, Patels. They're not talking about blacks, biracials. Like they're probably like four that look like me, because I know I know a professor that, at Georgetown. I, I I know a professor at Georgetown. I know him very well. It's very rare that when they say when they say people of color, 
That means like Hispanic. If they don't say black, that means like that number is low. Because when they say, because black, they, they've been talking about black this whole story. They don't have a problem saying black. You know what I'm saying? Black people do this. Black people get into that. Black power. Blah, blah, blah. When they say POC, that means, oh, shit, blacks. Uh, we, this is there's a lot of fucking Iranians and fucking goddamn gypsies and Armenians. And they just stretch the people of color shit all the way out to where everybody who's not like an Anglo-Saxon is a person of color find that that's 27 full-time minority faculty members out of 192. That's 14 percent. Dig a little further and you can include all of their faculty members, only 35 minority faculty members out of 815. That's what is that telling you? That's telling you. What is that telling you? It's telling the me white uh, people are better at this. Shit. I was just about to say they more they have more qualified people. It's and telling me they're just, counting. It's telling me they're counting Jews as whites. But what? Yeah. Well, listen. Let's 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 just be real, man. <sighs> Jews are white, but they're just a different strain of white. Just like as far as like a goddamn Somalian is a son, but they're not my type of son. It's yo, you you y'all gonna have to eat that, man. Well, black, <laughs> Jews are white, man. Come on, man. Like, stop this shit, man. They might be a different strain of that shit, but they're white. Fuck that, man. No, nah, they're not. They, are, they, they, they would be a minority you. generally, but oh, but they lump everybody in with whites that they can. Yeah, okay. Um, Jesus. It's 4%. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. Say this. I end up having this, you know, angst. Raven County Sheriff Chad. Hold on, let me, let me see. I want to show y'all. Hold on, I want to show y'all something, man. Um, let me.